Иван Соперников и первый бойца в синем углу. Ему 31 год, рост 167 сантиметров, вес 66,75 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 10 побед, 5 поражений. И его стиль ударная техника. Дамы и господа, из Новокустецка Россия, вот он, Александр Матмурата! Его соперник в красном углу клетки. Бойцу 29 лет, рост 167 сантиметров, вес 66,1 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 29 побед, 8 поражений. И он так же, как и оппонент, ударник. Дамы и господа, из Хабаровска, Россия, приветствуйте! Алексей Гладиатор! Пол Путника! Your referee charge, Лукаш Басацкий. Лукаш Басацкий, the referee in charge of this bout. Look at the tail of the tape. Alexander Matmurata is three years older, the same height, but Alexander Ma uh, Alexei Popunikov is much more experienced, but Alexander Matmuratov, just like we told you, he knows the taste of big wins, because he was the champion of one of the biggest Russian promotion. Good leg kick from Alexander, and a nice high kick for Alexei Popunikov, just like we told you. He's got two dynamites in his fist, so if he touches you, you go down. And we see that Alexei Popudnikov tries to stay aggressive. I remember his last fight against Bibir Tumino, but Bibir Tumenov is also a real terminator. And uh, he, also, he can also knock people out, put them to sleep. And actually, Alexei Popudnikov suffered a big defeat. But speaking about his defeat in a fight against Salman Jamaldaev, it was a really close fight. And Alexei Popudnikov was not agree with the decision, saying that it was a robbery. And he, of course, he wanted a rematch with the ex ICA champion. Right now, Popudnikov moves forward with some punches, and Matmuradov is meeting him with his hands. Good liver kick from Alexander. A jab by Matmuratov. Nice exchange. Well, actually, before this tournament, when I saw the card and I saw this fight, I thought that it could be a fight of the night. And it could be. Because these two are just good. They are so dangerous. And Alexei Popudnikov comes forward. Nice clean and Popudnikov controls the knee of the opponent of Alexander Makmuratov. A nice knee to the body from Alexei. And forward he comes. Look at this pressure. And Popudnikov is very sharp. He goes for a... For, goes with the punches. And in this position, I think that if they are staying on the distance, Alexander needs to provide good footwork because uh, he needs to create himself a space in order to step back or maybe to make some side steps. Because Popudnikov is a native-born aggressor. He always works like that. Only forward, not a step back, not a single step back. And a nice connection with a right uppercut from Popudnikov. Popudnikov with one-two combination. Working right now at defense. Taking control of the body. Excellent knee, another big knee from Alexei, and Matmuratov tries to put the opponent down, and a good connection with two shots from Alexander. And forward comes Alexei Popudnikov, he wants to respond, and a big shot to the liver, and nice knee again to the body from Alexei, who does not let Alexander Matmuratov out. And we see that Alexander Makmuratov is suffering big troubles. And he's hurt. He's, he's definitely really, hurt. He's really hurt, exactly. And actually, Paul Putnikov took those two punches like nothing. Yeah, he just ate him. He did not notice him at all. Oh, that's a big knee. One and a half to go in the first round. And we hear the corner of uh, Alexei Polkutnikov that tells him not to give the, op the opponent not a slight chance to breathe. The pressure should be 
Констант. Попутников is given his opponent space. Spinning back kick. Well, actually, the trademark of Alexander Matmuratov, but Alexei Popudnikov once again. Oh, that's a connection. That's an exchange. Both fighters landed good shots. But I think that if we speak about the power of shots, Alexei Popudnikov has an advantage in this case. So, and it is seen here. Good combination from Alexander. Another uppercut. Try by Mark Muratov. 30 seconds to go. Very entertaining fight. Exactly. So that's how we told you. That is exactly what we told you that this fight uh, is a real contender on the award of the fight of the evening because these two, well, look at them. All the fans of Russian MMA do know them. They see them fighting and they see them winning and losing. And all these fights were quite explosive. And end of the first round. Well, I think that uh, Alexei Popudnikov got it on his under his belt, and I think that he was a little bit better. And we see in uh, Alexander Matmuratov's corner Roman Kapilov, the UFC fighter. I can't disagree. Alexei Polkutnikov did enough to win this round. And Alexei, Alexander Murada, Mat Muradov is actually in trouble. He was in trouble several times. Yeah, and you saw on the graphics that, uh, and I remind you that uh, Alexei Polkutnikov is now on his three fight losing streak, but the opposition was severe. Salman Jomandaev and uh, Biber Tuminov and uh, and it was a head clash, by the way, in the previous episode, but happily there were no cuts. We see that the blood floats from Alexander's nose, and of course it will be much, a little bit harder for him to breathe. <laughs> so let us continue, round number two. Alexei Polputnikov in the red shirts versus Alexander Matmuratov in the white and black. Yeah, and Polputnikov comes forward already. And he absorbs these shots, not noticing him, not paying a slight attention to him. Look at this. Alexander Matmuratov produces three, four shots in a row, but Alexei Polputnikov is not even trying to block him. Just absorbing him. All oh, good connection for Alexei. And the takedown attempt is what we need here to see. Maybe, but we know that both both are strikers. Yeah, they prefer to fight in stands. They prefer a stand-up game. But uh, that's how. That's why we do love MMA because when you cannot beat your opponent in stands, you'd better go to the ground and uh, vice versa. And Alexei Polputnikov gets a warning from Lukas Basetsky for grabbing the cage and a good nice connection jab. with a jab from Alexei. Another connection by Polputnikov. Oh, look at this liver hit. That was a good one. A crisp shot from Alexei Polputnikov and here comes the dirty boxing, so to say. Right now he's all working. Alexander Matmuradov. Yeah. He's overwhelming him in a good, good combination from Alexander. The right so, connection. So we don't want to bury anyone before the result, before the fight, but still we're just speaking about the moment, the particular moment. And uh, in this particular moment, Alexei Popudnikov is leading the fight, that's for sure. Three minutes to go. And we hear Roman Kapilov, who says to Alexander Matmuratov to create some distance, to give himself a space and to continue working, but not in question. A good takedown from Alexander Matmuratov, and he's on top now. And maybe it's his chance. Yes, it's his chance maybe to win the round. 
Not sure about the fight, but he can definitely win the round because half of the round passed already, but Alexei Poputnikov turns around and immediately gets up. Yeah, there was a moment there Makhmuradov could take the back, but he decided to go to the fence and work here. And now they are on their feet again, and Alexei Poputnikov continues his attacking. Nice uppercut. Nice connection Ooh, by Poputnikov. Big, and big right hook from Alexander Makhmuratov, who continues to engage, but we see that Alexei Polkutnikov is just unstoppable. Oh, that's a big body shot from Alexei. Makhmuratov is holding his hands. And again, using the head to control Alexander Makhmuratov and clinching, and now they step off the cage. They are in the center of the pitch. And oh, what a connection. Look at this. Observation of Alex, Alexei Poputnikov just doing nothing to defend himself, but he is still on his feet, not even stunned, not even hurt. He's not in the groggy position, and down he goes, but just losing the balance. And now it's another chance for Alexander Matmuratov to work here, right to the body. And he wants to tries to use this. He tried to use this episode till the end, but Alexei Polputnikov stood up at once. Oh, look at this! Look at this clinching beating from both sides. Both fighters connect their shots. They land at home. And 50 seconds to go in the second round. And it could be a Muay Thai clinch for Alexei Polputnikov according to the grip. To the neck rim and a nice Another connection. Another connection by Alexander Matmuratov and still like nothing for Alexei Polputnikov. But I think if Alexander Matmuratov would cum uh, accumulate his damage, that can work. Nice right hand again. Beautiful takedown it could be for Alexander Matmuratov, but Polputnikov sprawls and continues moving like a tank. Another exchange close to the fence. Still working here, taking control of the body. And 10 seconds to go. A back face by Alexei. Back elbow, I should say. <laughs> the round is over. Yeah, and it was quite difficult, if it is a correct word, for this situation for Alexander Makmurata, who had excellent moments in the second round when he took Alexei down and he tried to control and tried to give him good shots. Yeah, he actually took him down twice. So what do you think if it helps Alexander Makmurata to win the round? No, I don't think so. I think it still goes in favor of Alexei Polputnikov, who produced more punches, who delivered, who connected, who was more accurate in the second and, of course, in the first. So I think it's two to nothing right now. But there is still a chance for Alexander Matmuratov. Yeah, definitely, yeah, he's not done yet. To show what he's capable of in the third. And I heard Roman Kapolov saying to Alexander Matmuratov that he needs to use his grappling skills and wrestling skills, that he needs to take yeah. the opponent down and to control him there. And of course, Alexander Matmuratov needs this round badly. The third and final round. Alexander Makhmuratov continues moving and that's the right thing for him to do because he should not stand in front of such a big hitter as Alexei Polputnikov is. And with this kind of move he can choose the right moment to take down Alexei Polputnikov. Well, that's a good hand speed, by the way, from Alexander Makhmuratov and a back pass on Makhmuratov. Hard connection. Another exchange and Alexei Polputnikov is moving a lot. 
going forward, squeezing an opponent, trying to hold him at the fence. Nice connection by Alexander Matmuratov. He's doing good work, producing punches and moving, circling around and escaping the hits. And clinching again, and look at this control by the head from Alexei Poputnikov. Well, just he's acting himself like a bull or something like that. And a good combination from Alexander Matmuratov. And of course, he needs to make a step back or step aside after his combination. Not to let Alexei Poputnikov to exchange because Alexei, he's exhausted. Yes, he's tired, but still, he's dangerous and he has his power in his fists. Missed with his right hand. What a connection! Short right hand to the chin by Matt Muratov. Yes, Alexander is a skilled striker. He does not have such power like Alexei, but still, he is, his level is pretty high. And I remember him fighting Ilya Kurzana, for example, and his championship fights in the other promotion. Well, he's good. He's really good. Sharp knee from Alexei Bokutnikov straight to the body, straight to the stomach. Turn the half to go in the third and final round. And, uh, and we hear Roman Kapilov shouting to Alexander Makmuratov to move after his attacks, not to stand in front. Oh, that was a big right hand from Alexander, but missed, and Alexei Bokutnikov pushes the opponent to the fence. So far, there is no one attempt for Alexander Matmuratov and Alexei Bogutnikov to take the opponent down. Without any single attempt in the third round. Another combination from Alexander Makmurata, but none of the shots landed actually. Well, speaking about the a very important takedown for Alexander Makmurata that will definitely help him to win the round if he will be able to control Alexei, but still, the takedown is counted. Yeah, but he is not able to control. Another connection. Perfect but... uppercut by Alexei. Working at the fence, holding the body. Oputnikov needs some time off to recover. He uses the stunt to hurt the opponent, he uses all the variants to do damage. And less than a minute to go in this fight. Oh, good uppercut. And look at this exchange. Marvelous job by both. And of course, Alexander Makmuratov needs another takedown in order to, uh, to secure the advantage. But here's a second to go. He still steps back. Nice connection. Whoa. What by a chin. What a, what a chin of Alexei Popotnika. Made of stone or something like that, or made of steel. Because so many shots were connected, so many shots landed, but he just absorbed them. It's rock. Without mentioning. And, and some Another good shots. Exchange. Some good shots from Alex and big shots from Alexander Makmuratov. And 10 seconds to go in this dog fight. So who wants it more? Another takedown. Take Very nice. Very nice round by Alexander Makmuratov, but I'm not sure that he's going to get the whole win. Heads off to these warriors. Exactly, exactly. I can't but agree with this statement. They put on a masterpiece tonight. Yeah. Well, Alexei Polputnikov once again showed a very strong chin. The third round is no doubt goes in favor of Alexander Matmuratov. Yeah.
And before the announcement, I would like to remind you that so far Alexei Polpotnikov is on his uh, three-fight losing streak. And we are about to find out if he will end it right here and right now. But Alexander Makmuratov actually did everything he could not to let this happen. Hello, Novosibirsk and Novosibirsk. Novokuznetsk. And Novokuznetsk, actually, the native city of Alexander Makmuratov. So it goes to the judges' scorecards. So the announcement, well, is delayed so far. So here comes Alexander Zagorski, one of the best ring announcers in the world. Well, the best in Russia, that's for sure. So let's hear it. The official decision. Дамы и господа, по завершении этого потрясающего боя. Обратимся к судейским запискам. Итак, 28-28 Матмуратов. 29-28 Полпутников. 29-28 Матмуратов. 29-28 Полпутников. И 29-28 раздельным решением судей. Александр! Wow!